Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Netta Irampour. We do have new information at this hour about the shark that bit a man off the coast of Del Mar that happened last month. The shark lab at Cal State Long Beach just received DNA test results. CBS 8's Kelly Estadal in Del Mar with more on what we've learned about this. Yeah, you know, this is pretty incredible. So we've learned that the shark that bit that man was a white shark, approximately uh, nine feet long. It was a juvenile shark. Uh, what we don't know, though, is if it is still here off the coast of Del Mar. Uh, researchers are, don't have that answer yet, uh, but they do have the shark's DNA, and it's something they want to try and figure out. This technique has never been done before, but our goal is because we have the white shark genome is fully sequenced, much like the human genome, and we can identify many of the genes. We think it's possible to do a 23andMe type analysis to identify the shark to species. We won't know until we try. So this is new technology. He's talking about groundbreaking technology. Dr. Chris Lowe, director of the Shark Lab at Cal State Long Beach, says unfortunately the testing is very expensive and they don't have the funding to do it. Now it's possible they may never figure out exactly which individual shark was responsible for the bite that happened last month, about 100 yards off the coast. Uh, fortunately, that victim, 46-year-old Caleb Adams, uh, survived. He is recovering at home. But Dr. Lowe says that with more research and more of these genetic tools, they may have a better idea of exactly how how many white sharks are out there. They can build a library of them and really start to better understand why they bite. Now, this is a known spot here in Del Mar where juvenile sh white sharks gather regularly. They're around people regularly. So uh, he says if this was a situation where the shark got scared, uh, why aren't they scared every day? Uh, we don't see shark bites uh, against people happening every day. So this is really interesting stuff. You know, I asked Dr. Lowe, uh, how big do you think that the shark that was involved in this bite uh, will get to be? someday since the shark really is only a juvenile. He says they grow about a foot every single year for the first six to seven years of their lives. So he says it's possible uh, this shark could grow to be more than 20 feet long. Kelly Hassett, all CBS 8. 